the road ahead. <clears throat> Clouded over a little bit. A little blue sky, but right here, cloudy. That big cloud. Maybe we'll get a little snow. Getting kind of high up. Took a little break and I thought I'd see what it's like to walk down the trail. Well, I should say walk up the trail. This is a uh, all uphill as you go in, pretty much, and all downhill as you go out. Each one has its challenges. Last week is when we got the majority of the snow that's on the ground. There's been a dusting since then. Someone's been in here. Besides me, I was in here last week. my trucking poles I've got to carry both of them in one hand for the time being I guess I could have slung the other one on my wrist maybe spend a lot of time looking down at the rock <clears throat> going uphill works my hearts and works my heart and lungs fairly well and with this little bit of snow you do sl slip backwards going downhill you slip forward continuously and it makes for very difficult down something in my eye gotta watch down so I don't know where this thing's always pointing <clears throat> a lot of dead timber if this place ever burns she'll burn hot Sure you can hear me breathing. I'm a young person should be a cakewalk. I kind of <coughs> wanted you to realize just how strenuous this is for an old guy. I got about 30 pounds on my back, food, camera gear, tripod, three liters of water, Plus a pack, plus clothes, lunch, did I say food?
Well, we'll get up here a little bit and quit. I don't want you to get bored listening to me breathe. Canada Trek boots, made in America. Feet and legs, made in America. You see the waist belt of my pack, made in America. Lucky poles. I don't know where they're made. I don't know where they're made in the back. I got it. Okay. Trail's leveling out. Call it quits. That's the road ahead. <laughs>